Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Paler's Remote Application Server Tutorial and this is 8th video in this series and today I am going to show you in this video how to add Hyper-V host or VDI host to Paler's RAS. So basically uh, Paler's RAS support uh, Hyper-V, VMware, Citrix, Xen server, all the virtualization um, platform like uh, all the hypervisor which is uh, widely used so uh, I'm going to focus on Hyper-V uh, server in this video and we are going to add the two Hyper-V host servers in this video to Paler's remote application server so basically Hyper-V host is being used to uh, deploy VDIs so same way you can add like any hypervisor VMware, Citrix Xen or Hyper-V to run VDI virtual machine, guest virtual machines on that platform. So we'll see uh, how we can add this and how we can utilize Hyper-V host. So let's move. So this is my demo environment which we are going to use. So we have four virtual machine and this demo. So the first virtual machine is Win2K16 DC01 which is my Active Directory and DNS server which we are using since second video so my domain name is victorinfosol.com so here you can see active directory and dns role is running on this machine and if i go and click on local server you can see win2k16 dc01 and domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is my um, active directory domain server and the second machine which i have is parallels01 which is my parallels ras server which we have installed in second video and since second video we are doing stuff on this Paler server so this is my Paler server you can see Paler01 and on the desktop you can see we have Paler's remote application server console so I'm going to click here and this is my farm name Paler01 and authentication type so go ahead and connect with it so you can see this is the info so in last videos we have added RDS host and we have published few application from RDS and network share also so in this video we are going to focus on this VDI feature where we are going to deploy a virtual desktop so you can see this is going to see your uh, virtual machine which is going to be connected by user and here in this video I'm going to focus on basically on this virtual desktop host so if I right click here or click on add button here you can see VDI host type so it support vCenter it support ESXi, Hyper-V, Hyper-V cluster, Zen server, KVMF, Nutanix, remote PC so in this video I'm going to focus on uh, Hyper-V host standalone so we'll see how to add it so here the second two servers which I have Win2K16 HV01 and HV02 both are Hyper-V host and both having 32 gig of memory and both servers join in my domain which is victorinfosol.com so let's see so this is my first server Win2K16 HV01 and you can see the IP address and it's joined to it so both the virtual uh, these two servers are brand new and I have just installed a fresh operating system 2016 data center and I have uh, renamed this machine configured this machine IP address and join in domain so this is just a machine which is joined in my domain so what else we need here on these two Hyper-V hosts so the first thing we need to install a Hyper-V role on these machines so I'm going to click on manage and add role I'm going to click from role based and feature based so this is basically a role based installation Hyper-V so role based this is my server HV01 and I need to select Hyper-V so when you are going to select Hyper-V sometimes it's going to give you error like a uh, processor is n uh, not compatible or something so you need to make sure from BIOS you have enabled Intel VT virtualization technology so since this is a virtual machine running on a, a VMware workstation you need to make sure virtualization Intel VT uh, technology is enabled so you can find this technology in our bio your BIOS of your physical machine or your physical server 
or if you are using any like VMware workstation you can come here and enable this so you need to make sure virtualization technology in is enabled whenever you are going to install Hyper-V role so just make sure and click next mm. then you need to leave everything default and just make, make sure you put here restart automatically and then click on install and same thing you need to s do on second machine also Yo, I want to go with two servers so you need to like you can verify nothing is going wrong with two uh, if we follow the same procedure on two different servers so just want to make sure so leave everything default and select restart the destination computer and you can see both the machines having only C drive so we need at least one drive where we are going to store our virtual machines so we'll see that in next video how we can add the second drive and how we can utilize so this video I'm going to totally focus on adding the Hyper-V host uh, in Palace RAS so you can see HV01 is now rebooting and it's going to take two reboot uh, whenever you install a Hyper-V role it's required to reboot so first time it's going to uh, reboot for the virtual machine uh, Hyper-V installation and second time it's going to make sure the uh, physical machine is uh, going to be converted as a first virtual machine in a Hyper-V so now you can see it's working on feature And you can see it's again it's rebooting so this is the final reboot so it's two reboots it's it's going to take two reboots whenever you are going to install a hyper-v role so let's wait a few more seconds here so you can see now it's rebooted and if I hit convert Dell and I'm going to log in here so this machine is still rebooting HV02 so let's verify uh, wait for dash dashboard so we can verify Hyper-V is installed so you can see uh, this is done installation succeeded so Hyper-V is installed and we can see Hyper-V here so this is good news and now we are good so let's wait for this machine to re reboot and come and ready for the login so now it's applying settings so yes we cut in so let's log into machine HV02 just wait for server manager to open so installation succeeded so this is good and both the machines HV02 and HV01 having now Hyper-V install so both are, are now Hyper-V host server so now I can go here and type the name of the name or host uh, so I'm going to type name here Win2K16 HV01 and we need to put the IP address here so like uh, username so I'm going to put administrator and password here and if you want you can put the description also so like something like HV01 and then you can click on next if the default you can see the RSA VDI agent installed so click on so this is going to give you all the information what we have on this machine so just click on finish so when you click on finish it's going to take some time and you can see the agent status is disabled now it's going to come up green in few seconds so let's verify the agent install or not so if you go to server and remote uh, program and feature it's going to take you some time you can see the check agent uh, so agent in the store so just wait for some time it's going to come green again so you can see the agent is green now and status is ok so this is good and same way we can add our second host so uh, let's click on 
add button and hyper v host and then you can type your server name so win 2 k 16 hv 2 and username to authenticate it and password and you can put the description as well click next and where it's want to report so so just click on finish now so it's going to again take some time you you make sure you click on apply and now so both are green now and now we have added our virtual desktop host successfully which is Hyper-V host to our par parallel server so this is good and this is all about in this video how you can add the Hyper-V host to VD Hyper-V host or VDI host to parallel RAS and in next video we are going to deploy a few VDIs by using these Hyper-V host so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.